Hey guys, today I have a Samsung washer, king size capacity washer, and we're going to pair it up with a Kenmore electric dryer today. So not a matching set, however, both in excellent condition. This one's in like new condition, just a couple years old. Uh, dryer is an oldie but a goodie. <clears throat> Work very well together because uh, just about any size load you can put in here, dryer is going to be able to handle. We're going to show off the washer, just show you that everything on it's working perfect. Then when it's all done, move the clothes over to the dryer and show you that the dryer is working perfect. But kind of as if you were standing here yourself checking it out, I'm going to show you that it brings water in, full submersion. This has the deep fill water option here. Drains the water out like it's supposed to and has a nice, fast, smooth final spin cycle. All things, like I said, you'd want to know is if you were standing here yourself, getting to listen to it and see everything work. You see bringing the water in there. Nice clear glass top here. Kind of see what's going on. Then uh, with the dryer, I'll show you that it sounds good, heats correctly, and everything's working perfect on it as well. So got a little ways to go in the cycle, so I'm going to just kind of cut to the wash cycle once it's all the way full. And we'll just kind of cut through and show you those key points there. All right, we're back, moved into the wash cycle. And since we hit that deep fill, did not skimp on the water. It's getting started vortexing those towels down the middle, along the bottom and up the side. Kind of a little vortexing motion that will pull down on the bottom and up the sides. Think of it like a front load washer, how the clothes turn and fall on themselves to agitate. Same idea here, except we're looking down on it instead of straight on at it. And uh, that's pretty much how it works now. It'd be a lot sudsier with your HE soap at home. I just use about a cap full of bleach for my shop towels here. But uh, most of those are hand towel size and bath towel size. So uh, pretty good size load here. But we'll go ahead and let it move on. I'll show you when the drain kicks on, we'll come back. All right, moving out of the wash cycle. You can hear it running that drain there nice and fast. And once it's done pulling all that water out, it's going to spin to extract the used up water, fill back up with fresh water, agitate for a bit, and then we'll be on to the final spin cycle. All right, getting started on this final spin cycle. And I have it set to max spin speed. It's probably too high for this heavy towel load. The uh, manual will say jeans and towels, you wanna be somewhere in the middle here. But I always kinda of like to test everything on full blast for my test videos here. So uh, I'll come back about the four minute mark when it is top speed for you. All right, just about full speed on the spin cycle now, at the four minute mark. As you can see, spinning super fast, getting all the water extracted out of those clothes. It's got the drain running right now too. And the best part about how fast this thing spins is the max extraction of the water out of those clothes. It's going to cut your drying time in half. So that's a part of the, the high efficiency rating that these have. So I'll go ahead and let this finish up and we'll move over to the dryer next. All right, now we've got the washer clean and cleared out. You can see huge capacity on that tub there. Go ahead and close that down. We come over here to the mismatched Kenmore dryer. It's kind of the odd couple here, but uh, they're gonna work great together. We've got this one, nice, bright, all the towels thrown in there. Close that up, push the start. Now, once you have this in your laundry room, and get your vent hose hooked up to the back of the dryer. It'll muffle that blower motor sound. I just don't have that out here. Uh, otherwise, you would just kind of hear the clothes tumbling on themselves a little bit. But as you can see, nice smooth operation. Sounds great. And I'll show you that it is heating. Give it just a second here to heat up. It's about 60. About 61, 62 degrees on top of the dryer. We're doing time dry, which is the high heat setting. You've got a air dry, no heat setting, auto dry with a delicate, and then a high heat auto dry with more dry up here as well. So just about anything you'd need to get dry, you can take care of there. Lint trap right here, you wanna make sure you pull that out and that gets clean before each and every load. We'll go ahead and check that heating element tube and show you that everything's Nice and hot like it's supposed to be. So right inside that heating element tube, you can see there it's getting nice and hot. 
And that's going to, hot air is going to mix with the clothes, exit right there, which is where the lint trap would catch it, and out the back of your dryer. So I'll go ahead and let that finish up. We'll go ahead and get these listed up for sale. If you have any questions at all, feel free to reach out. I do appreciate you taking the time to watch my video. Thanks, you guys have a great day.